Here's where you almost decapitated Ian. Really nice. It's so much stronger yeah. than what you were doing before. Ooh! Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, let's look at the backhand side. Uh, same thing with the, the choking up. And I, I think you tend to do it a little more on the backhand side. We're getting turned to the side. 90 degrees is, is what we want to see. My biggest thought or suggestion, you manage your momentum really well. Um, you're touching down a little earlier here on the backhand side. So we're not quite getting all the flow into the shot that we could. So that's one area where we could improve. Uh, the other one is as I see you hit, I'm not seeing a lot of activation with your shoulders and back. I'm mostly seeing your elbow come forwards and hit the ball more from like your arm. Right. right. And when you watch a professional player hit a backhand volley, the arm obviously moves and I want you to notice his shoulder blades. So he's starting in a very similar position to you, about perpendicular to the net. He's got a little bit of bend in his elbow. By the time he hits, that bend is going to be mostly gone. He's extending his arm. And then I want you to watch his shirt on the back of his body, how it's squeezing together. And there's these wrinkles yeah. forming where right here is pretty smooth. And then he's squeezing back behind himself. Yours is just a little bit over-reliant on this lever. Mm -hmm. And we need to use a little bit more of like shoulders and back yeah. to create a little bit more strength to it. I think that will help you feel more confident with the full lever in your hand and, and not having to yeah. choke up to make this feel a little bit more confident. Yeah. We're going to strengthen the backhand. Yeah. We're not going to choke up anymore. And whenever we run into some bumps in the road, we're going to pause and figure out exactly what to blame. Yeah. It's not going to be because your hand is too low. Yeah, it's not because your hand is too low on the grip. Uh, just give me 60 seconds to get the ball machine set up, please. What I'd like you to do now is shadow some, some backhand volleys where we focus on going to the same setup position you were in before, 90 degrees to the side, a little bit of a bend in your elbow, and then we're going to separate our hands and focus on your shoulder blades and squeeze back behind you. Yeah, with your shoulder blades. And as that squeeze happens, your elbow should extend uh, through the, the point of contact. We want to start with, with a little bit of bend in it and then extend uh, through contact. Yep, as you squeeze the, the shoulder blades together. Yeah, let's just do a couple more of those. A little more shoulder blade squeeze. Nice. All right, check this out, Janice. Really good. So yesterday here's that one that we just looked at mm -hmm. i just want you to get a sense for what's doing the work here yeah. so it's mostly the elbow pushing forwards mm -hmm. notice how your your right hand and arm really aren't doing anything like they're just kind of hanging out like they help support the racket and then and then that's it yeah. and i want you to contrast that with what this looks like you can just see the bigger so muscles being being active now. And so now there's actually something happening with your right arm, which is just an indicator of what's happening behind you to kind of pull and squeeze uh, with your back. So now we don't have to rely so much on this yeah. and on this yeah. to hit the ball because yeah. we just have bigger muscle groups adding adding force to the, the equation. And now your hand is in the appropriate spot. So we have extra leverage on top of that. Yeah. It's going to be a much, much better feeling shot as long as we hit the ball clean yeah. in the middle of the racket. Exactly. And if as you miss hit, you go back to like the, mm -hmm. the choke up, you know, elbow push, yeah. it'll spiral back into that weak, uh, that weak shot again. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's hit some now, but I'm just going to toss them to you at first. Okay. So you don't have any like speed or pace to worry about. Okay. So let's go like right up pretty close to the net, like a step or two away. And go ahead and shadow a couple more of those again for me. You're choked up, Janice. <laughs> no more. That's a crutch. 
Yeah, good job. One more of those. All right, same thing. Just off the racket. Good, nice job. Good. <laughs> I, knew it was, I knew it was coming. <laughs> it's just a matter of time. <laughs> I'm glad that brought you so much joy. <laughs> brought me a lot of joy. It was because you caught it. <laughs> yeah. I suppose it would have been a different face if it like, hit me square in the eye. Here, here's, the, <laughs> here's where you almost decapitated Ian. Really nice. It's so much stronger yeah. than what you were doing before. So now, <laughs> see your face. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> and then look of kind of concern, and then look of ha ha ha. Okay. <laughs> so now we do it in. These are the last four in real time. Your whole body is just much more active. Yeah. It, it was it was very isolated before. Yeah. Um, to to a much smaller part of your body. Yeah. And now there's just much more activity ac across your entire your entire upper body. It's really good. All right, let's see what's ball machine now. Great job! Great job! It's just not fair, man. Great job. Really nice, really nice. Okay, so on average, these are going a little too far. And I think most of that is just because you're bringing like so much more like energy to the table. So if you wanna maintain that level of intensity, what we need to do is just close the angle of the racket a little bit to keep it in play. And then the other tweak here is just simply the quality of contact. Yeah. You've only hit like one or two of them real clean. Yeah. We probably have a bunch of recalibrating to do here because A, your hand is in a different place. Yeah. B, energy is coming from a different place. Yeah. And so that just changes the relationship between your body and you know where the ball is. So just keep doing exactly what you're doing with shoulder blades. Yeah. And let's just try to find the right angle with the racket okay. and then the right alignment with the strings. Yeah. But everything's looking really good. Focus on the shoulder blades. And then as you're hitting, I want you to be mindful of the angle of the racket and the quality of contact. Those are the only three things I think you need to be aware of right now. Just off the frame a bit. Nice, good clean shot, good clean shot. Just off the frame a little bit. Nice, good clean shot. Yep. Oh, that one felt good, didn't it? That was nice, good job. All right, great. Let's go back and forth now between forehand and backhand. You'll probably have to move about a step in each direction here to, to get to each shot. On the forehand side, we're just gonna focus on quality of contact and do everything else the same. We're also gonna focus, focus on keeping your hand in the right spot on the grip. And on the backhand side, you're gonna transition mentally over into focusing mostly on the shoulder blades and, and squeezing. Ready? Really nice. Yep. A little bit off center. That was fantastic. Good job. Good. Wow, nice clean volley. Real quick uh, comparison. Yesterday I took a video of you, you're going back and forth between forehand and backhand. So notice the power source on the backhand. Look at how passive your uh, right side is on the, the backhand side. It's just very, uh, just here. yeah, left arm. And 
today, obviously, you were doing a little bit of movement. Hand is in a strong place now. Body is being used much more strongly on the backhand side. We haven't really changed anything on the forehand side. Just need to be more mindful of the quality of contacts. Yeah. That, that looks much, much stronger. Mm-hmm. There's certain moves that just look like tennis, you know? Yeah. This, your backhand body looks like tennis now. 